Star Wars, obviously enough, is about conflict, and there are many wars in the history of the expanded universe, both well known and less so. But there is one conflict that's all but unknown even among dedicated Star Wars fans, despite being fairly significant and taking place in between films. It was the war that immediately followed the Clone Wars, which the Empire used to justify its existence, the reconquest of the Rim. Attention, Sergeant on deck! If you're looking for a totally free mobile game that emulates the experience you'll get on your PC or console, then Raid Shadow Legends is the game that you're looking for. Raid is a brand new RPG and has all the features you'd ever need in an RPG title, like an amazing storyline, awesome 3D graphics, giant boss fights, PvP battles, and hundreds of champions to collect and customize. Almost 10 million players worldwide have already downloaded the game in just six months, and it has more than 200,000 reviews. Raid has an almost perfect score on the Play Store. During my time playing Raid, I've come to find my favorite champion is Tayrol. I mean, first off, he's a high elf, and second of all, he's a defender and a tank, so that's my preferred style of playing. But don't take it from me, take it from the developers who are constantly upgrading the game and they've actually given us a roadmap which contains huge plans for updates in the game for over 6 months. So what are you waiting for? Go to the video description, click on the special links and you'll get 50,000 silver and a free epic champion as part of the new player program to start your journey. Good luck and I hope to see you there. The Clone Wars ended with the Republic reorganized into the Empire and the Confederacy of Independent Systems dissolved. But just because the Confederacy was no more doesn't mean there weren't any separatists left. The CIS military wasn't just composed of battle droids. Many organic supported the separatist cause and with the Republic made into the Empire, their worst fears were realized. A number of separatist holdouts picked up where the CIS left off, waging their own mini-wars against the new empire, which was at this point still new and fragile. Once the droid army was cleaned up, the empire went to war with the holdouts in a massive campaign geared towards securing the rim of the galaxy. One of the first campaigns of the war was the Kreatrik Offensive, directed at Separatists in the Northern Outer Rim. Following the loss of Munilinst and Maegido, Mun Separatists fled across the void of Chapani to the Kreatrik Center. The Kreatrik Separatists received support from Selenon and Sereno, two Separatist strongholds that were Republic targets in the Outer Rim sieges, and their forces were bolstered by pirates and slavers. The Empire sent Admiral Screed and General Ramodi to crush the Kutrik Separatists, with Screed commanding naval forces and Ramodi leading ground troops. They crushed the Separatists at Vinsoth, and the Empire was also victorious in the region at Fenion, Findar, and Sheris. Screed pursued the Separatist naval forces to Bemil, where he crushed them, but Ramodi was less successful in crushing their leadership at Binkoros, where a force of Mandalorians broke the Imperial siege and helped the Separatists escape. But the Separatists were betrayed by one of the pirate groups they were operating with, and the Empire wiped them out in the Battle of Vados. In the nearby foundry of the Confederacy, Separatist Senator Toon Baktora reactivated factory worlds and began an insurrection against the Empire. Admiral Talon and General Dodonna were sent to crush the Cymurthian insurrection, and they resumed the siege of the foundry of the Confederacy. They were victorious at Diado and Metalorn, and chased Tura away from her homeworld of Cymurth, the heart of the insurrection. Tura and the remains of her separatists were killed at nearby Trezamine. Those that escaped Trezamine took refuge in the Cretan and Narrows and Hut space, resulting in the Imperial annexation of the Northern Hut territories. The Cymurthian insurrection also resulted in the breakup of the rebellious Tion Cluster, which was split into several sectors. The final campaign of 19 BBY was the Five Veils campaign, which began when Trade Federation Customs Vizia Marath Vuru refused to acknowledge the surrender of acting viceroy Centipeth Findos. Vuru reactivated his droid armies on Anak and began his own campaign against the Empire. 
Imperial Moth Octavian Grant was sent to eliminate him and crushed his forces at Farstein. Veru was forced down the Five Veils trade route before being captured by the Empire at the Hook Nebula, ending his insurrection. 18 BBY began with the Lister Hole campaign, a minor offensive in the northeastern fringe of the galaxy. Following the formation of the modern corporate sector, the Empire turned its attention to pirates and Zygerians in the area. Imperial forces led by Admiral Ularan and Admiral Holt retaliated, driving south down the Listerhol run and crushing the enemy at Sagma, Zygeria and Tervisus. Later that year was the Nulian Crisis, a campaign fought in the mid -Rim. During the Clone Wars, Andor was one of the fiercest separatist worlds due to bitterness about the Republic's intervention in the Andoan Wars. During the war, the Andoan Free Colonies and the Grand Army of the Republic forced the Separatists Spivarel the government out of power, but some Andoan Separatists remained bitter. Aquilish and Hark raiders began harassing Imperial forces in the region before eventually capturing several worlds, including Nuli and Galbaron, and even part of Bothan space. The Empire sent Captain Pa Lankin to eliminate them, and the raiders were crushed in the Battle of Galbaron. The last and largest campaign of the reconquest of the Rim took place in 17 BBY, the Imperial subjugation of the Western Reaches. The Western Reaches had essentially fallen into anarchy during the Clone Wars, and after the Battle of Boomer's Quarry 4 and the Outer Rim sieges, Separatist forces fled down the Corellian trade spine, hiding among pirate dens and harassing Imperial forces. Moff Tarkin was put in charge of the Imperial counterattack, alongside Screed, Holt, and Ramodi. The Imperials beat the Separatists at Kelrodo A, Pendaxia, Ordfog, and the Feather Nebula. The Separatists had victory at Brindar, killing Holt and wounding Ramodi, but it was the last gasp of the holdouts. Holt and Ramodi were avenged at Tosta and Ogoth Tia, which saw the defeat of the last Separatist leaders. The Western Reaches operation also saw the involvement of the 501st Legion, which put down a holdout on Mustafa. After the reconquest of the Rim, the Separatists were all but destroyed, and the Galactic Empire was uncontestedly the ultimate power in the galaxy. This was only the beginning of Imperial efforts to subjugate the Outer Rim, something the Republic had been unable to do. On the other hand, the reconquest can be seen as the beginning of the Rebel Alliance, and indeed, those Separatists that did survive the Reconquest went on to be some of the first Rebels. So that's the story of the Reconquest of the Rim, one of the more forgotten wars of the Star Wars universe. So guys, make sure you let me know what you think and if there's any other stories within the Reconquest of the Rim that you'd like to hear. And also check out the comment of the week here. Leave a witty comment down below for your chance to be showed off and also make sure you check out all those links down below as well where you can chat with other Star Wars fans on Discord, play games with them on our Geetsley's Gaming Network and if you're into history, I also have a second history channel that I'm more than confident you will enjoy. Anyways guys, as always, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.